Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Um, so today I thought I would do a video, finally, on my first month on Accutane. Um, I've actually been about a couple of, one or two weeks into my second month now. Um, I was just really lazy and didn't film it, I'm sorry. But, that being said, um, I've not really noticed any major changes after the first month, so it's still pretty much the same. But yeah, so side effects that I had in the first month, I feel like that's a good place to start, would be the dryness. Um, I got a few headaches every now and again, and I did get some muscle aches. Uh, joint pains and stuff especially around my knees and my lower back um, I did struggle with that for a couple of days I also had stomach pain um, after the first couple of days of me taking Accutane but I don't know if that's related or whether it was just a bug or I didn't feel well but um, that was quite bad it kept me up all night um, but yeah the main side effect is just the dryness um which to be fair hasn't actually been that bad there are days where it's quite bad and days where it's okay i feel like i've sort of figured out a bit of a skincare routine for my dry skin at the moment i kind of know how to um stop it from getting really dry and cracky and flaky and all that good stuff um i'm not going to post a skincare routine just yet because i am still figuring it out and trying different things i think at the end of my second month that'll be a good time to post a skincare routine because i would have tried it and my skin would have felt like the full effects of accutane well not the full but um it takes obviously like a few weeks to build up and stuff so yeah i think a skincare routine will be end of month two um i've noticed recently that the dryness has now crept up into my nose which is fun um a lot of people have said to like put vaseline up there and stuff which i haven't done yet because i just think that'll be more irritating i'm probably wrong but I can't stand anything like oily around my nose. But at the same time, the dryness is bad. Like I'm getting a like a couple of nosebleeds and stuff. Not like proper nosebleeds, but like it is bleeding a bit and it's quite sore. Um, my lips as well. When I smile, they like disappear. Um, because they're just so. <laughs> <laughs> like they're okay here and then <laughs> they're just like yeah they're too dry so they don't actually like stretch that much which is funny hilarious um i've not actually noticed a difference in my skin apart from my forehead look at that like there's like the odd couple of little ones but I mean, I can't complain with that. That's really good. But the rest of it, like all down here, I actually think is still the same. I don't really see much improvement from the first month. So I'm hoping this month I will start to see some improvements. Um, my skin did break out a lot a couple of weeks ago. Um... In fact, probably when I posted my last video and I was quite upset, um, it carried on for a few days and that was quite bad. It was just the pain, like it was really sore um, and I've dealt with acne for years and my cysts and stuff, but I think that topped with the whole emotional side of being on Accutane, which sounds ridiculous, but it it is something that's always on your mind you know what i mean like you constantly have dry lips and dry skin and you're wary about going outside in the sunlight um and it makes you tired like i, I am getting quite tired from it 
um yeah so i think everything just built up and then seeing all the breakouts and then feeling it all as well it kind of just it got me for a day but i'm fine now everyone's been so lovely um like i can't thank you all enough i've just been reading all of the messages and i so wish i could reply to everyone but i have a three-year-old son um who tries to steal my phone and laptop a lot at the time I'm gonna try and get some downtime at night and reply to you guys because honestly it's like keeping me going at the moment reading your comments and hearing your stories and stuff it's just crazy how common it is and how many people have been on Accutane um, and there's so many different reviews on it and so many different sides to each story um, but yeah, I've actually been having, I'd say, a pretty good experience so far. So I'm on, um, my first month I was on 20 milligrams. Um, they started me off on the lowest, well, it's not the lowest, but quite a low dose. Uh, because I've never been on it before. And they just wanted to see how I'd react to it. Um... And they did say my cholesterol was a little bit high before I started it, but it wasn't too high. They said it did kind of reach the marker of what they kind of would turn away to, but I think they were just going to see how I went anyway. Um, so yeah, I started on 20 and then I had my appointment about a week or two ago now. And I said that it's just the dryness and I mentioned the headaches and they said to just keep hydrated. And keep an eye on them but um it's probably just because of the tablets drying my skin out and drying my body out so just to keep drinking lots of water um but yeah other than that they said they were happy and we doubled the dosage to 40 milligrams um and that's where i've started to see the dryness in my nose now since we've doubled it um, and my lips are getting a bit more chapped. But other than that, it's not been too bad. I'm on, well, supposed to be on the course for six months. Which seems a long time, but with how quick the first month went, like, I can't wait now to reach, you know, the next few months. Um, I've got a couple of holidays planned within that. Which is such bad timing because obviously you're not supposed to really be in direct sunlight. Um, so I'm going to have to cover up and wear lots of sun cream and not sunbathe. <laughs> Just like the whole freaking point of a holiday but hey, at least these will go. So I'll just let you have a quick look at my skin that's what you're here for this side's okay that one's been there for probably a couple of weeks now it was huge so it's gone down a lot and then around here this here I think you can see it on my last video I had um, this one's still quite big and they've they've gone down a bit but not that much but this side was massive the other week and that's gone down a lot so I'm happy with that um but yeah not really much difference i don't think on that side and then this side i'm getting a lot of breakouts around here so all in like the hormonal area and then up here i am getting you can't really see them but if you like feel you can feel all the bumps under the skin and i'm getting a lot Along the jawline as well, I can feel them. Um, I had some on my back as well. I don't tend to get uh, acne on my back. Like, I'll get the odd spot. But I had quite a couple of painful cysts on my back, so that wasn't nice. Um, but I'm loving the forehead. <laughs> it's like the only bit of skin that's pretty much clear like ignore this side <laughs> but this side is nice and it does really just give me hope for what my skin what my skin's going to be like in the next few months like this all over <gasps> oh i can't wait 
I'd love to hear like your opinions on Accutane and stuff and why people have chosen not to go on it because I know it is a big decision and it did take me a while to decide and that's because there was a lot of um, negativity around it. Um, it was seen as this, you know, super strong drug that you just, you know, it will do you more harm than good. But, um, yeah, I just thought, I don't really know what I thought. Um, but I just got fed up and I was fed up of trying loads of things and spending money on things that weren't working and Accutane was something that I knew worked well, you know, like 90% of the time. There are the odd few people that Accutane doesn't work for, but it does have a very high percentage rate of effectiveness um so yeah i just thought well it's pretty much guaranteed to work so i may as well try it but yeah i know a lot, i've had a lot of messages like don't do accutane come off accutane and stuff and i suppose i'm only, only like one month in and if i was having severe side effects um i would stop using it i've been having a few mo uh, mood swings but i'm putting that down to being on the pill again um, so I may need to look at changing that because I found that I just don't sit well with the pill. Um, so yeah, I've not, I guess I've not really fully experienced Accutane yet. I'm only a month in, but I just want to hear your thoughts on it really. And, um, let me know any tips and products for the dryness um because like i said i'm still working on it i've got a few products that i love um there is one product that i really do love which i'm not going to change i don't think in my routine so i may as well tell you that now it's the kate mciver secret weapon serum and um they were kind enough to send the serum out to me oh my god i love it i love it i'm gonna be using it even once my acne's gone it's perfect for under makeup as a base um it is quite oily and like i don't want to say greasy because i don't find it greasy but it's sort of that kind of consistency um but it's just great it's doing wonders like i actually think that's why my forehead is so good because i did have a lot of um pigmentation up here and it is helping get rid of that. Um, so yeah, that's amazing. You should go and check that out. Um, I'm probably missing loads of things out here. Side effects, my dosage, how long the course is. I really need to plan my videos better. But <laughs> I just record when I'm feeling up to it i don't want to put pressure on having to record then if that makes sense but oh i don't know what do you think let me know talk to me anyway i'm gonna leave it here because i think i'm just rambling on now but um thank you for all the love and the positivity that you're sending me um i really hope you continue to watch and follow my journey it helps me just as much as i apparently help you like it really does keep me going if you're new to my channel um i'd absolutely love it if you could subscribe and like the video if you like it if you don't like it just don't watch it <laughs> um but yeah that's it i'm gonna go make some food now <laughs>